hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be continuing on with my declutter series and we're going to be focusing on uh, hand creams <laughs> because i obviously have a lot of hands um so there are a lot in there i do also have a couple in my bags downstairs like one in my work bag and i've got a couple in different handbags and i'm just going to leave them there because I know that they are all nearly finished, so they'll show up in my empties. Can it your nose? Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so I am really, really enjoying doing this series and it's made me really look at my skincare and I've actually started using things that I had forgotten all about. And today I feel so happy with my skin. I had a face mask last night. Um, today I put on some little under eye masks. I've Done like double cleanses last night and um like a lovely gel cleanse this morning and then layered my skincare and honestly my skin feels amazing it's just it feels really plump and soft and hydrated i don't i can't describe it but it is noticeably different in just how it feels to usual so i am really really pleased this is going to make me keep on doing it i've also been using that pump action lavender body cream from yesterday's video and i had put that by my bedside and i've used that last night and today and it is so nice i really really like it and that's going to be done in no time it's going down quite quickly it dries really nicely it doesn't go greasy so that's just like a little quick update on that so what i'm going to do i'm going to whiz you around and we'll have a look at these i maybe put the ring light on it's a bit dark today um i just want to say hi if you're new if you if you've just stumbled on this video i have got a whole series going on so there's a playlist have a little look in there it's like my de skincare declutter 2020 or something like that but anyway there's a big playlist there and there are loads and loads of videos i am focused on, the, on my skincare my masks and i'm going to be tackling my makeup i'm going to de <laughs> i'm going to declutter everything before the end of the year so i'm going to go into 2021 with an inventory of my products and um yeah hopefully reducing by about 50 percent, which is, seems to be the trend i'm doing so well so let's whiz round and crack on grab a snack get a cuppa and then um, let's get on with these hand creams okay so here we are ready with the usual setup i've just well i'm saying usual i've just sort of changed it a little bit so this one's one we're going to keep these are the ones that we're going to pop in for giveaways so ones that are unopened so giveaways are to sell this one is for the bin and this one's for friends, family and the legs. Okay, so I have got a few that I nearly finished. I'll just warn you now. So I'll maybe just set them right at the very front here. Let's get in. So first thing I've got here is the Organi Natural Care Hand Cream. This is, let's have a little look here. It is vegan. And is there any dates on to 12 months? Oh, expiry date. See, top of tube. That's really handy. We've not seen that before, have we? That's good that it says that. And, oh, it expires in 2019. So, that is for the bin. I'm really sad. I didn't think I'd had that that long. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, if it says it's expired, there are no exceptions. <laughs> it's going in the bin. Next thing is this, and it's the or Dr. Organic Organic hand snail gel hand and nail elixir are easy for me to say this actually is really nice i think this might be my second one but i know i have had it for a while and it does say here to use within 12 months of opening is there a date on this no there's not that's not a date i think it may be just be a different number however it has been open for so long that i'm going to declutter Next one is a number seven overnight revitalizing hand cream, only 25 mils. This I'm pretty sure I got in a beauty box in like, sorry, like an advent calendar. Once it's open, gosh, it stays good for 24 months. That's ages for hand cream, isn't it? Is it sealed? Oh, I'm, am I going to be knocking this again? <laughs> okay, I'm going to give that one to friends and family. Um, Yeah, probably my dad will use it. He gets really dry hands. Um, Jerlique. This is a rose hand cream. This is nearly finished. How long does it say to keep it open? I'm actually going to declutter this. Oh, February 20. That's expired. Okay, so bin. 
Hmm, I'm not keeping anything yet. I'm not doing well. <laughs> okay, so the Super Duper, and this is the Super Light Marvelous Magic Moisture Hand Cream. What is it? We got fruit smoother, sorry, fruit smothers coconut water and kaku oil. No parabens, no sulfates. So these are all like pretty natural. Um, 12 months from opening. Is there a date? Is there a date? Nothing stamped on, is there? I am sure, again, oh, I think this has been opened. I cannot wait to start labeling everything correctly. I think I, oh, I don't think that's being used, you know. I'm going to pop it into friends and family just because I can't be certain. Next thing is a Balance Me Super Moisturizing Hand Cream. Again, a natural product. This only says what, 12 months. Is there a date stamped on? I've just noticed I've got some lipstick on my nail. Let me go get rid of that. It's very off putting. Okay, so this one. There's no expiry date that I can see on it, but look, it is sealed. So I'm going to pop that into my giveaway one, only because I know I've got loads of hand creams open that I want to keep. So I'm happy to put that one into a giveaway. Next is a Rituals of Ayurveda. These are um, so nice, the Rituals hand cream, but I can't use them in the day at work because they are really greasy. Um, bum, 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 bum. No expiry date on there. 12 months. So I'm going to keep that for me because I love it. And it's just a little nice one maybe to put on at night time. Next is this Patisserie de Ban, um, a cherry pie hand cream. Now I know I've had this a while. I think I either got it in a latest in beauty or maybe it might have been a one of the birch box um, special edition boxes I'm not sure so does it even tell you on here how long to keep it open there's no expiry date ah there we go I think I swatched this when I got it it has been opened it's probably been open for so long I'm sure I've swatched it I'm gonna in it oh my god right this one's pretty new this is a mane and tail one and da -la -la. 24 months keeping that for me i've got a lizelle one orange flower hand repair that's nice 24 months from opening cruelty free i'm keeping that for me and the avida hand relief oh when did i get this i can't remember where i got this one from um, good for 24 months, which is good. Is there a date on it? Not that I can see. Has it been... I can't remember if I've even tried this. I'm go I don't think I have. What I will do is... Is, 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 is... Oh, I'm going to pop it there just now. I, I might keep it for me, but I might put it in a giveaway. <laughs> I don't know. Aha. Actually, no, I'm going to pop it into a giveaway because it's a really nice brand. I've got another Rituals one here. So it's the Ritual of Sakura. This is so nice. Um, this one's quite full. I've got one in my bag. I think that's nearly empty. Either that or I've just finished it. But um, I do love it and it smells gorgeous. A, no expiry date, I don't think. No parabens. I'm keeping it. So... I've got lots of lovely greasy ones anyway, that's for sure. Oh, this one's nearly finished. This was a really, really nice one. It is a seascape. And I think I got this in either the vegan kind or the natural beauty box. It was one of like the the natural more natural type boxes. But it was a subscription box. 12 months from opening. Focus, focus. There we go. Um, it has been open for ages. It's not quite finished. I'm going to... Oh, look. Let's maybe put that one in the bin. 
Next thing is a Neil's Yard. And these are really, really good creams. Wild Rose, though. I'm not a massive rose scent lover. I mean, I can, I'm, I'm not, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's good until another year, 1121. So that's good. Has it been opened? I think it might have been, oh, although it doesn't look like it's really been squeezed. It's hard to tell. I probably used it once. Well, that's good as well. Look, it tells you there. Look, it points you upwards to tell you where the expiry date is. And then 12 months. I think I'm going to pop that into a friends and family just because I can't be sure that I've not used it. Next is Betty Hula. I absolutely love these. I am definitely keeping this because they are great for me at work. If you work in somewhere that you need to have um, like good dexterity with your hands, so if you're like in nursing or in, in care, if you're a carer, or even if you're dealing with where you need to put gloves on or anything like that, it is really, really good. It dries in beautifully. It's antibacterial. I love it. This is my third one. Um, please be, oh, there's no date on there, is there? Ooh. And I've only just got it very, very recently. No, it's not. So I'm going to keep that for myself because I do love it and it's handy for me for work. Um, these are lovely as well. I got this from work, the, an Avon lady, a local Avon lady dropped some in for us all and I've had one already and they're absolutely amazing. Again, they make your hands so, so soft. So because I need to have that, um, like good hands for work, I'm going to keep it, but I'm just looking. 2020? Is that 2020? Okay, I'm in a bit of a dilemma because this is a really, really good cream. So I'm going to put this into friends and family because it is absolutely fabulous. Um, yeah, I'll probably give it to my dad. Next is a Laid Bear. 99% natural. Oh, gosh, I've had this for ages, I think. It's really exp I wish they all had expiry dates on. I keep saying this. It would make life so much easier. It has got a 12-month life. I don't think I've used that. So, it looks a bit grimy though. Good point for friends and family. It's really difficult because I do open so many things. It makes it very, very hard for me to um, put in. Now, I've just found this. I thought it was a hand cream. It is a scrub. So, I'm just going to bob that over with my other um, exfoliators. I was thinking I had another Rituals one then. Okay, this, I don't even, why is this in here? This looks like it is finished. This was, um, I think I got this in my very first You Beauty box, uh, which was like three years ago. And it took ages to use up and it is really, really nice. It's finished. So I'm going to go put that into my empties. Well, there's maybe a tiny bit, but let's just call that finished. I don't know why it's in here. <laughs> um, okay, I've got a little tube here from the Handmade Soap. Lemongrass and Cedarwood. Again, I think I've had this for quite a while. I'm pretty sure I have. So, 12 months. They all seem to be about 12 months. Has this got a date stamped on it? I think it's more than 12 months since I... Oh, sorry, I'm knocking you. I'm sure that's more than 12 months since I opened it. So I'm going to throw it away. This is a um, Mavala hand cream. Now, I got this, I think, in a, um, a Secret Santa one year. And it had like a little nail files and tools and bits and pieces and things like that. And 12 months from opening. And I'm sure... I got this and it was years ago that I got it. As in like maybe, well, I've been in this job two years. The job before that was three, so that's five years. <gasps> oh, so it was before then. So I'm certain that's where I got it. So I'm going to bin it because if that's the case, it's like over five years old. Minus four and seven. I haven't used this, I don't believe. 
and it is expires in oh that's not an expire thought it was 21 is that or 29 8 21 shall we say and it has a shelf life there it's still in date i'm pretty sure i haven't used it i'm going to pop now you can see i've not even not done anything with that so i'm going to put that into a giveaway get in there right next thing is oh gosh do you remember uh, last year is it last year or maybe the year before i got seven birch boxes they had a thing where you could buy a lot of boxes really really cheap and then they sent me seven all the same i have got a video where i had a bit of a moan anyway in that box was a cat kits and hand cream and they're really really nice and they're nice to have in your bag um this one's full so i'm gonna just i'm gonna keep that because they're really handy little handbag ones and they look nice in your bag these two oops, these two are nearly finished god knows how long they've been opened i'm going to declutter those this is a tiny little freebie we got from work when the pandemic first sort of started and i don't think i've even looked at it a little hand balm let's have a look i'll get rid of the box oh that's nice again that's really handy for me at work just to keep in my pocket and i only got that probably about april time maybe april or may so i am going to keep that one but i'll just get rid of the box um oh the mercy handy do you remember we used to get all the little hand gels and i don't even think they were alcohol i think they were just like cleansers i'm doing like cleansers as in cleansers <laughs> um and i don't think they had much alcohol in them but anyway this is a love and hand cream i don't know what that means um 30 mils i've had this a while but i'm sure i haven't opened it Okay, there's just a lot number on that. I can't remember if I try this or not. I'm going to open it, just have a little peep. No, it's not being used. So I'm going to bob that into a giveaway. Um, next thing is a hand balm. It's lavender. And this is from Balm Balm. Oh, look, this is when I started being good. So I got that in Love Lula in the January 19 box this is what i should have been doing i did obviously try at one point um six months from opening so it's definitely been open more than that because i would have tried that and i bet you it was just yeah you can see i've just used it a couple of times so i'm going to declutter that because i have evidence see how handy that is this is why i'm going to be labeling everything moving forward uh, anatomicals rose hand cream this was either birch box i think i think it was birch box and it's good for 12 months has it been opened mm, i don't know i think it has been used and i don't know when it was so i'm gonna declutter oh this is looking so much better it was such an unmanageable pile that i had <laughs> um this one is looking really nice look it's in a big pump how nice is that and it is fair trade and it's fair squared olive hand cream and it's vegan cruelty free it's got the um little bunny there six months right this is in a pump so i am going to keep this i'm going to keep it on my desk by my computer and i'm going to use that and then i think when it's on on a pump it's easier to use just if it's something like that just there and i'll use it and then i've got one of these which is really really nice i've got the nurse and promise i was sent one out and um, by <gasps> mummy p was it you i think it was mummy p oh gosh i'm sure it was um a lovely lovely um follower subscriber and i'd call her a friend and she sent me some of this i'm sure she did um, and this is new i am loving it i've and actually this company is amazing i filled the thing out on their social media and they sent four huge um pump tubs of hand cream 
to my work for the nurses which is just amazing and they're really um they're trying to sort of send hand cream to all the nurses and midwives across the land so if you are a nurse or a midwife please go check out their social media go have a look and then give them some love i did put a post on my instagram about them they're they're amazing so i'm so grateful so yes i will definitely be keeping this and that is everything so i'm gonna just count up and i'll be back in a second this is by my computer desk as well which i've been using and again it's a little pump action so this is a molten brown and oh, I don't want it to be out of date. There's no expiry date on it, thank goodness. I'm going to continue using this because it's nearly done and then um, I love it. And I might keep that little pump action thing so if I get other little bottles in the future that don't have the pump, I'll be able to pop it on. So yeah, I'm going to keep that. So we'll put that on the keep pile there. And um, it's actually in here, you can't see it. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. So everything's falling over. I am so, so proud of myself. So I started off with 31 hand creams. I am binning 12. So 12 are going straight in the bin. Five are going for friends and family. I've got four to go into giveaways and I am keeping 10. So I'm only keeping 30% so a third of my hand creams that is amazing right so I think that's actually the best yet is that my best declutter so far like 30% I've kept I've decluttered 60% uh, 60% 66% whatever that is like is, is mad absolutely mad yeah I've got my numbers here so yeah I've got rid of 21 out of my original collection i am absolutely thrilled so this now looks a much more manageable thing to sort of like to cope with really and i know i've got things still coming in and i've got my beauty advent calendars and things to add in but at least i'm all i'm organized i'm organized i've got a couple of other ones obviously in my handbag but it's literally i would taken them out in anticipation for this video so it's just like two little minis like one in each bag i think i've got a few things at the caravan but as i said i'm gonna look at that next time i'm there and i'll just see what products i've got there and, and declutter from there just in case like expiry dates and whatnot so yeah that is it so next time i think we will tackle what will we do we'll do night creams be night creams and eye creams next time that's what we'll do so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it have you got any of these hand creams lurking away in the back of your drawers so if so go check them out because a couple of them actually do have expiry dates on which is so useful so take care guys thanks for watching give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and leave a comment down below if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and i'll see you all again next time have a great day bye guys bye